ready. All right, what is up, y'all? We're back with another episode of Your House on Rules. I am Spills, joined here with a uh, returning guest and future co-host. Uh, he'll, he'll be back, I'm pretty sure. People liked oh, yeah. him the first time around. Uh, Quitter. And then uh, we also have a new guest today uh, who is Andre Slater. Yes, sir. Um, he is a musician uh, that I went to school with back in the day at Cincinnati State. And uh, so that's how we know each other. He's been doing his thing in the music industry here. And then he actually moved over to Colorado and just got back in like how how long? Three years. Oh, you I were there for three years, I but you just got back like years. the last month. Oh, how, how yeah. long? Yeah, yeah, I got back like like six months ago. Six months ago? Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, now he's doing his thing. He actually told me that he has plans to start recording his uh, new EP tonight. Uh, maybe do oh, a little bit yeah. more writing and stuff like that. So shit, man. I mean, I guess like the first question, we're going to kind of, we'll, we'll go a little bit to some other topics here later and like get a little bit broader, but I want to kind of focus on you, introduce you a little bit. Yes, sir. So uh, I, first of all, uh, I, do you have anything that you'd like to link, like a SoundCloud or anything like that? Or are uh, you back on the ground trying to start from the bottom up? So with me, like really starting back out, it's been a while. It's been, I want to say, I dropped a song this year, but it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't yeah. like me dropping a song. I, right. I, I just featured, you know what I mean? Okay. So I did have a early uh, a release this this year. Yeah. Um, with uh, Shout out to Long Seven. It's my people's. Mm -hmm. Um. I had uh, dropped a song with him called You, um, mm -hmm. and it was all on all platforms, but it was not on SoundCloud. It was not on SoundCloud. I, I stopped the whole because it. I stopped the whole SoundCloud thing. Well, it it became a thing like when we were in school back in twenty eighteen. Yeah, that or was yeah, SoundCloud, that's what SoundCloud was SoundCloud the shit. Rap was yeah. like the wave, and like yep. people kind of found out that it was like this more of like a fraudulent thing. It had yeah. its own little like. It, it still do got its own little lane. Yeah, but. Yeah. But there's like, not people drawing millions of views yeah, on SoundCloud. Well, they, yeah. kinda, they, they changed a few of their like uh, privacy laws and, and like settings and shit, if I'm mm. not mistaken. And uh, mm -hmm. they, I think there was even talk about them being bought out from somebody. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was... Because uh, they've kind of gone downhill just because well, they're not... It was, like, that it was a singer, I know that. That is what yeah. happened for new artists or whatever. But back in that day, it was like, you know, Juice World oh, and bro, Temptation were coming were out so there. There were so many yeah. artists and, that were popping well, like that. The, the We had a few from here. Yeah. Like Steven yeah. K. Yeah. and yep. uh, the Insomniacs and shit. They yeah. was all popping off of uh, SoundCloud. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think a part of it that happened, though, was like those those guys who were really big, like the Juice Worlds and stuff, they became yeah. like mainstream. Yeah. Like they yeah. still yeah. kept their sound or whatever. Shit, I had a few. away from SoundCloud, it's just, it just became a thing. I, shit, my first releases was on was definitely on SoundCloud. Oh, yeah. My first releases was definitely it, it, on SoundCloud. It used to be popping, SoundCloud? I for everything. And I still, oh. got, I still got music on SoundCloud. Yeah. I still do, but it, I... I just, Mainly started going. I, I started going mainstream. Yeah. Because yeah. people kept telling me like you, yeah, your music, bro, you sound mainstream. Yeah. So I started to go that direction, and it, it worked for me for a while up right. until so, yeah. to when I took my break from, from Sound. Me. SoundCloud is a hell of a tool. I know with us being a little bit more in the EDM, like oh, that yeah. is yeah, where yeah, yeah. you get EDM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Facts, now. Nah. Yeah. They've got all the remixes and the best tracks on there. That's where you go. But like for I use like Apple Music. I'm not a Spotify guy because I just sold my life to Apple forever ago. I don't want to transfer <laughs> okay. all the songs over. To so your side. soul, I boy. Spotify for a while. I, I like it. Yeah, but that's why I use for everything else yeah. the EDM's the only other one so Same. yeah it's a hell of a tool but I mean shit uh, so I kind of want to ask you because I, I, speaking of EDM out there is like base capital like mm -hmm. the electronic oh, yeah. community like my favorite uh, artist is from out there Jansen and in stuff. like uh, Denver yeah yeah so the part of the part of Colorado I lived in was um, I want to say like an hour yeah away so um the music scene just like here was slightly different. Yeah. So where I was, it was, it, it was more trenches. Like it was more ghetto than so, Denver, which is a city like Cincinnati. You go to Cincinnati, like over the Rhine, uh -huh. that's what you're going to get out of like downtown Denver. Okay. For sure, for sure. Yeah. So were you in like the Denver scene at all? Or was it like this other like outskirt city type thing that you more chilled at? Cause I know a little bit about see, the geography is see, most of the big cities are like located around Denver. So I know they trans they, they like commute there. So, so with like, so like I said before, like when the, where I was, it was the music scene was a little different. So it, they had more of a, the west coast they like close to the, the west coast so it was more west coast yeah it was weird like it was more uh, it was so it was more like the the demographic there was different mm -hmm. 
yeah. from here, obviously. Like, there's more Hispanics. Oh yeah. More Hispanics. Yeah, there's a lot more Hispanic. I say, I say, seventy five percent of the population yeah, yeah. where I was, yeah. was I Hispanic. Mean, I mean, you go to a McDonald's, you go anywhere, it is gonna be in Spanish translate. Uh, yeah. Translation, like well, I mean, Colorado is kind of like because it's been so like close that, to New Mexico, there's and been Texas, like that annex away from California and stuff like yeah. that. And Colorado has become like kind of that like liberal sovereignty oh, out has. there, whatever. And people forget you talk about the Mexican influence; it's only a state away from the border. Yeah. Like New Mexico is right that's on the on, south that's border. What I'm saying. So yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. But was the music any different in there? Like it was, did it, have it more was like around. West Coast rap it, vibe? Yeah, that's what it was. It was the that's it was more good. of a, but it was it was Latin. Yeah. yeah, that sounds pretty lit. Some like mariachi type influences and stuff like that, because that that's what really the, cool. I love the, what the, like, what the paisa, yeah. yeah. What the the pi, you know what the paisa is? No, I do not. You know what the paisa is? Mm-hmm. So a paisa is them them do the, them the Mexicans that come over here that don't speak English and they don't fuck with Chicanos. A Chicano is a is a is a um. They're like the Americanized. The Americanized version. Of version yeah. of, they might have like parents who top the border or yeah, something like that, but they know. grew up speaking English and Spanish. Yeah, so some of them don't even. Family, some but. of them don't even know Spanish. Yeah. Like, yeah. You oh know really? Saying? Some of them don't know Spanish. Like, well, I know most they, Chicano rap that you see on like the West Coast and stuff like that. Usually, they have like entire Spanish verses. So mm-hmm. I, that's like the type of stuff. I, my boy Max would start this podcast with me. He lived in Mexico for ten years. So like Ooh, every yeah. once in a while. They'll play like Mexican rap, Chicano rap, and stuff like that. Like just heavily influenced with, with all sorts. Of I ain't gonna lie, I, I don't even know what type of Spanish it is. But if you know who Peso Pluma is, he fire. Okay. Like I like that shit. It's like, it's like new. Like it, it's like mariachi with like, but they the this what they talk about is luxury. Like, yeah. Like rap yeah. music. Like. The, they, like, they've got a couple just like EDM. They're not EDM tracks. They're like beats, but they don't have lyrics over them or whatever. Mm-hmm. They, they're they like hip hop, like boom bap type shit, but they have these like, I, I don't want to say mariachi, but Spanish. Like they have like Spanish horns and like, like acoustic guitars played in like the Spanish style or whatever, or like Mexican style or whatever. And like that shit's super lit. So yeah, a lot of that, a lot of that, like Texas rap right now has been blown up. Like, yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. What's his name? Like uh, Big X, the uh, Big, Big X, X the plug. plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he fire. Yeah, that Mexican OT. Yeah. yeah, that was the other one I was thinking of. Too. Now he has some Those straight mariachi influenced tracks for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. No. I mean, both of them just that. Yeah, that. that yeah, yeah vibe, look up Peso Pluma. He fire. Peso yeah. Pluma. I might have to ask him about them. Yeah. So if they know when you about see them, you can, when you hear him, when you hear it, when you hear when you hear the music, like the type of music, they don't they don't look how they. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Don't look how they sound. Yeah, they don't look how they sound like you. Bro, tied it up like me, like yeah. I don't think many artists really do, cause I mean, like, there's that the most popular one that I can think of is like Dr. Dre thought Eminem was black before he ever met him and got into mm-hmm. the studio. Yeah, him, so. yep. You kind of see that thing, and you hear rappers always talk about it or whatever. Like they'll be in an interview and they'll be like, "Yeah, you meet these guys. Some of these guys have like they're rapping about trapping and fucking bitches and stuff like that." But mm-hmm. in reality, they're married and they've never sold a drug in their entire Some life. Some artists do look so, how they sound. Yeah. For instance, Taylor Swift. Oh, oh here you sound. go. You, you like, had he, he had it. Yeah, I already bro. knew he was gonna bring it up. He yeah. said he would. He said he was gonna bring it up. She looks and sounds. <laughs> Like a door. I'm not even gonna <laughs> sit here and lie though. Taylor Swift got some bangers. I knew you were trouble when I walked in. Yeah, <laughs> that's that shit. But I ain't gonna she lie. got a flat ass, and I can't really stand her fucking. <laughs> her fucking I ain't leader. never heard a Taylor Swift song, not one. You, dude, there's no way. I've never heard. Like, a I'm, Swift I'm not a big enough fan to like do anything except that song because I know there was a rapper. Uh, I think it was like 2012, 2013, or whatever. He was on the Double XL. His name was John Connor. And uh, he had a um, he had a remix of that song by Taylor Swift. I was like, "This is a banger. Who is this?" It was like Taylor Swift. So I started listening to the actual <laughs> song from it too. Hey, that's so, crazy. I mean, but like, dude, it, there's there's been times where like, cause girls love Taylor Swift, but like, there's been times where like they're playing the song or whatever, and I'm like, "Who is this?" They're like Taylor Swift. I was like, "Oh, this is a super popular song. I had no idea." <laughs> no it, it, it's probably yeah. one of them situations. I probably heard it. Yeah, and you ain't probably know heard who, it like in the background. In the, the background, some, some shit. shit. For yeah, sure. Yeah, only, only time I hit someone with the never heard their shit was uh my friends were talking to me and they were talking about a lizzo song i was like who is that and they're like i was like i've never heard that before they're like that's fucking lizzo and i was like i was like okay. i kind of was the same way i never heard a song from her for probably like first two three years she's she was right. out like as a big artist man i ain't gonna lie i heard 
she had one on the radio. That shit was hard, though. Yeah. Dude, that's what they were <laughs> saying. They're like, they're like dude, Lizzo hard. goes hard. And I was like, fuck out of here. I, I hate just the image that Lizzo portrays. Like, she's a huge influence to little girls, and she's, like, morbidly obese. Yeah. And, like, it's, it, you can't. Well, and she's, she's like, really rude to people. I get, that's, that I don't know much about that. It's like I said, I, she's not on my radar. They oh, were dude, started playing she, tracks. I was like, what is this? Do you hear about all that <laughs> shit she had going on? She had, like, some, some of, like, the people that work for her. I can't remember. You'll have to look this up. They were, like. Had something to do with like uh, she was mistreating them and like with like did oh, some I weird sexual shit. Like too. she was oh, trying yeah, to yeah. make them eat her pussy or something <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, like some fruit yeah. in their ass or some shit. Yeah, bro. some dumb shit like she that. Was on I know what you're talking shit. about, yeah, bro. No, that ass. She was on some weird <laughs> shit because now you don't really see her on commercials and shit. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> Take it out. That's that's where we draw the line, bro. Like, hey, yes, like what? Don't eat your assistant's pussy. She might have liked it, but fuck it, it's gonna come back to hit you in the ass. Imagine, imagine just like had having all your assistants line. Up, and yeah. you just in, go one by one. I'm gonna. I'm gonna got the best smell. I'm gonna first. I'm gonna do so many sexual things to you tonight. Like what the fuck? Good lord. But yeah, we kind of derailed a little bit there on the Taylor Swift and Lizzo. Hey, it but hey, it's still music, so we'll we'll circle it back around though a little bit. Uh, oh, I do want to talk. Girl. So were you back in Colorado? Were you like releasing music back then, or just just kind of heavy in the scene with it? I would say for what. So, you know, I've been in and out of jail and shit, so... I did not know that. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, so, I mean, yeah, shit, you can talk about it. You really will talk about whatever um, you want to. Yeah, but. no, I was in and out of jail and shit. I caught a case out there, and then I was really mainly out there because I was stuck on probation for two years. Oh, yeah, nah. That, I know that life is not fun. It's yeah. not, yeah. I just recently had finished up with some shit that I had lingering in my past with, with my probation after years, yeah. Fucking it's a different, it's a different ball game out there. With yeah, that. I feel that. Uh, but, yeah, because that's more of a liberal type government that they got out there. Yeah, so, for uh, sure. So yeah, but um, I so the first two years, um, it was mainly like me just going through life. Like it mm-hmm. ain't, I couldn't, I ain't have enough time or Were you? motivation to do do music at the time i can imagine that'd be a huge weight on your shoulder were you kind of stuck sure. out there too it kind of sounds like it yeah yeah i yeah. was i couldn't leave i was on probation i couldn't go i yeah. couldn't i couldn't call, i couldn't leave the state i couldn't leave the state mm-hmm. even though i was leaving the state like i was still i had jobs and shit like in uh wyoming which is right next to sure. colorado so i wasn't even supposed to leave the state i couldn't mm-hmm. leave the state until my shit was over, yeah. I, I could have transferred, but they there was always that 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 chance they would have been like no, because they don't have to accept. Yeah, that's and that's what I was about to say. I know that you can like request to transfer other places, but if they tell you no, you're fucked. You're you fucked. Yeah. So yeah. I wouldn't even. I'm like, I'm already fuck it. I'm already here. Yeah, you know? just had to handle your shit. And I feel it. Yeah, it I, sucks. I'm already here. So let me just go ahead and power. I had a deferred sentence anyway, so mm-hmm. let me go ahead. And let me not fuck up. I did fuck up because I failed a drug test, but. Don't one time, but yeah, <laughs> I felt. I but other than that, now I did. I think I did good and put all my uh street shit behind me. So hell yeah, man, for sure, bro. It kind of seems like a uh, you just leaving them hanging. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fresh. I was like, I was like, we're not about ready to do that, but nah, fucking yeah, for That's sure. A huge man. weight when you when you get done with that shit. The, yeah, they they. There's a lot of government things that are set up to, to definitely keep you trapped and and just like they suck the money out of you on Feed top the machine, of, baby. Yeah, it's it's fucking crazy until you until you've ever actually like been in trouble with the law. Mm-hmm. Like you, 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 no one would really understand it. Like it fucking sucks. They yeah. t- take your money. They take your time. You're not allowed to do shit. So I definitely feel you. It, it, it feels good to leave that shit in the past, though, like you said. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And now you're back here. You got a job, fucking doing your thing, fucking uh, able to, like, get back into all your friends and the music scene around here. I always say you're making yeah. big moves. Coming on this podcast, you hit me up. Even though it's kind of wild how we met each other or whatever. I don't want to talk mm-hmm. about it too much. But yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just this, this chick that we know, uh, <laughs> like, I commented on her post or whatever. Dude, she she she's white. She's tatted up white girl, and she dropped the N word on fucking <laughs> Facebook. And I was like, I was like, whoa, what is going on? And that he saw it, and he liked it, and he slid in my DMs, and he just got to talking about, you know, like, uh, like he's like, you still do the podcast or whatever? And I was like, yeah, man. I was like, he's like, would we care if I come on? I was like, for sure, let's get you on, man. Uh, old facts, uh, old old friend stuff like that, and you're in the music industry, and it sounds like you kind of gone through some of the same shit with we like like we did. 
Um, cause like uh, the music industry is always going to be something with me. Like I'm always going to be a part of it. I'm always going to go to live shows. I always want to like, m- not necessarily create, but be like able to, if I want to. Mm. And you know, once you start getting into the thick of things back like a couple years ago or whatever, you start realizing just how much of a shit show it really can be. Oh, yeah. And uh, like, yeah, it just gets, it, it just gets to be too much. So, but you're doing good for yourself, man. So, oh yeah. Yeah. I'm doing good for myself. I got a, I got a EP. Yeah, I'm about to uh tonight. I'm gonna start recording it. That's fucking yeah. sick. Yeah, I already got um, I got songs that I record. I bet I was recording in Colorado and shit. I so like mm-hmm. I, so like after like during my probationary period and shit, um, after after I after I left my baby mama and shit, mm-hmm. that's when I really got back in tune with like just being myself. Right, and then getting back into the studio and, and getting back like into that, the yeah. studio and stuff like that. So, um. I just like I, f- I felt like something was missing. For sure, I've been doing it for so long. Something was missing. I'm like, man, like, I'm like, I'm like, something missing. Like, I don't feel, I don't feel right. Yeah. So, yeah. so I had a, I had a, I know what it is. It was one of them. I know what it is. I gotta yeah. start recording again. Yeah. I know nah. what it is. So. Nah, it hits you. I always get the urge to start recording some and stuff. Uh, I tried to make a couple tracks. I was talking to you a little bit, like EDM tracks, and kind of became a little bit daunting. But you do kind of get that itch to like create or whatever, because I'll like just be cruising in the car, you know, and like I'll be rapping over a beat, like trying to freestyle or whatever. I was like, I should do this. I probably shouldn't, but like, <laughs> it, it is what it is. But yeah, you just kind of get that itch. I know there's been like times like this is why I listen to all kinds of different genres of music. <clears throat> Because, like, one will start getting a little bit stale, and you're like, I can't sure. just not listen to music. So, like, oh, sure. it, it's it's always been a constant part of my life. I right. definitely feel. I mean, mm-hmm. the weirdest thing is, like, my whole life, I have pretty much hated country music. And it's like, oh I, my I feel God. like once I hit, like, age 29, 30, all of a sudden, it was just like, what have I been missing? There's actually like I was just telling I guys. just was telling him that yeah, you know, yeah. we were talking about that right before I was, I was like the one thing I don't do is country and he was like I love well, country. I'm telling you man there's just I something fucking about love it. country music right. <laughs> and then people look at me and be like huh <laughs> like yeah and I the, fucking like bro, there's some I'm good a, shit. I, bro, I can, I'm allowed to listen to country music. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? That's that's one of those like uh, it's kind of similar to like the blues. Like it, it it pretty much relates to anybody. If you're if you sit down and yeah, go we're all through, we're all depressed. Yeah, fucking. Yeah, like, you know, we're, everyone's had a tractor stolen from their ex, bro. Yeah, well, you know, it's a little more than that. It's just you know it, it relates to people versus like a lot of other <laughs> genres of music like EDM stuff like. Uh, not very vocally driven, but a lot of stuff that they have mm-hmm. is just kind of generic samples and shit. Bro, right? I know and what then, my favorite country song is. What's, what? what's that? It's a quarter after one. I'm all alone and I need you, you yeah, now. No, okay, fire. That's is that even fucking really, is that fire. Really country? Sure Bro. it is. Who yeah, is that? Who is that? Cheryl uh, Crow or La- something? Lady A. Lady A? Lady A. Never even heard of him. I know this song. That sounds more pop. That's like pop. That's like Taylor so Swift that, shit. That like, is uh, it Lady A Lady or Lady Annabelle? R? Lady Annabellum? Is that what you're Yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. yeah. If, okay. That might be who you're talking about. I know Lady Annabellum is a super popular artist, but I, I don't. No I idea. always thought that was a pop artist, not a not a country song. That's kind of a little. It's a little mixy. Yeah. I'm talking about the only country that I can get behind is like my buddy. My buddies, they'll like every once in a while get in the moment. And they'll play like, uh, like, uh. Midnight in Montgomery and shit like that, or uh, Tennessee whiskey and stuff. I'm Tennessee like, whiskey fire too. I can Stapleton, get behind those. Chris yeah. Stapleton's fire. He's a good little little intro if you, because he's he's definitely like mainstream country. He's big as fuck. He's been. I was telling him my favorite country artist is Billy Carrington. And I've never Billy even heard Carrington. of. Him. Never even heard. Of him. He's so fire, like, yeah. bro. Yeah, he's f- he's is he fucking. Is he older? Or is he like a newer or something guy? like that? Uh, he he older. Yeah. So he was he was dropping hits back in the the early 2000s, 2010s. Okay. Oh, shit. The early 2010s, like 2010, 11, 12. That was uh that was when kind of cuz I know back where I used to work, uh our production manager used to love country. So he played a country music station and like I'm in there with a bunch of felons and shit who they they don't fuck with. <laughs> they they don't fuck with the shit. But he used to make us listen to that shit, and that that was around the time when they were like starting to do like the Jason Aldeans and stuff like that. Oh yeah. And he would listen to it, but he'd always bitch about it. He's like, "This fucking pop country, fucking bullshit." There's like, definitely a difference. There's like, yeah. there's a lot of different flavors of country. Like there's like, like uh, I'd say the shit that I really kind of fuck with is like I didn't even know it was called this, but it's called like outlaw. I was like, I feel like a little outlaw. Some like wild west shit. Yeah. You like it's it's wild. They, you like uh you like Morgan Wallen. 
Yeah, I mean, he's got he's got some stuff I like. That comes... Overall, I think he's a fucking dork. Hey. And he's been making a, like he's been looking like a dork. I don't know. You see like his little intros. I don't. When he walks out with people. I don't like his. I don't like his fucking. I don't want to say aura. The, the, he's the, got a he's smug got, aura. He's got a weird look he's to got it. A smug but aura. Well, I, mean, I, I won't even say his aura because his aura's all. He's always surrounded by bitches and yeah. fucking. He's got that like kind of country like Asshole. country. He's yeah. got like. He's almost got like a country rapper vibe to him. Cause yeah, well, like, you know. well, have you listened to I mean, his yeah, best hits? Not, That's yeah, what it not is. really, yeah. but I do know well, the like vibe that he gives off, and like I kind of fuck with that vibe. Like, so he's got some stuff that's fire. Like uh, his collabs with uh, who's it? Dirt. He yeah, really yeah, fucks with. Dirt, yeah. Bro, his collabs with Dirt, they're fire. Yeah. It's basically like a drum track with them rapping and mm-hmm. singing, and uh, they're, they're, they're gas. Yeah. Like I, I, yeah, I wish he fire. would stick with more of that because he does a lot of poppy shit and then. I don't like his pop shit, but his his like regular country music and his 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 hip hop country music shit is shit. It's fire. fire. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've heard a couple things about him, and it's been someone that I want to check out, but like I said, I'm just not into the country Damn. that much. So fucking it's just it it's not something that's really on my radar. One day I'll be like, you know what? I'm bored with all the music and stuff, all the different types of music. I'll be like, I'll put on some stupid shit. <laughs> like every once in a while, I'll go through some jazz or some cl- classic. For That'll sure. probably be. Bro, I love. Like, oh, let me check I love. I love like old uh, Italian music. Old Italian, Italian music. music. I swear to God. Oh yeah. I, I swear to God. You, you start getting some music from around the world, like it can get super cultured and like. They, there's French music there's some, with horns. I, I think we have wow. like sad as fuck. <laughs> sad I think as, fuck. as like Americans living in America, we kind of get lost in the fact that like because it, the, my people who've been around the world, they always say the same thing about uh, people's like um, perception of Americans, and it's like we're just like super cocky and arrogant and fucking only care about America and stuff and like fat that. as fuck. And like it is, it, yeah, and fat as fuck. Fat as fuck. And it, and it, it, it is kind of <laughs> true. I feel like a lot of people in America just kind of are like, of, of the, like, oh, we got the best music, but really it's just the most money behind it. Yeah. Like you go to other fucking uh, countries, like. K-pop is something that is fucking oh, yeah. huge, or even around here or India, whatever. But you go like, over to India, K-pop, like, they're way bigger, K-pop, have way yeah. more views than a lot like, of our pops out here. K-pop, yeah, it's like mm. uh, Korean, Korean pop. pop. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, like okay. Boy, like Korean boy bands type shit. Really similar huge. to what's like going on in Japan too. Like if you if you're into like that sort of music, they mm. all hit that sort of little touring area like. Japan. Japan. Korean music popping right now. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing. Especially Korea, with the kids. So. Korea is like, it's Far East. It's one of the most populated states. It's a, not a third world country and it's not right, a surveillance right, right, state right, like right. China. So, mm-hmm. and even China has its own numbers just in China because they got a billion people. But there's so many people over there. I think that Americans like to think like, oh, they don't get the views and stuff like that. They might not have the economy that we do and, right, right, or, or right. the like mainstream international viewing but dude they're pulling in way more numbers than some of the pop artists oh yeah mm. that's why i think india is a really interesting country because mm. india is fucking massive and it has a massive population as they well. got a shit ton and of people they've, in like, india modeled their like media after the united states because mm-hmm. they pretty much understand like they they're they're a little behind them. they're a little behind though they are <laughs> but i mean that's what the whole idea of like bollywood is yeah. right and and that's just interesting as fuck to me though because as a country, they pull numbers, same sort of thing. Like, there's mm-hmm. Indian millionaire the most, superstars. The most subscribed uh, uh, channel on YouTube is actually a Bollywood, like, yeah. media conglomerate. Or yeah, whatever. that's yeah. crazy. Like, they, they model themselves after the United States because our media and entertainment is just top-notch. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know, I, I think it's really fascinating. Like you said, they're, like, they're like behind us, like, in the times. But it's still really fucking interesting. Like, if I turn on a movie... And it's not in English. And if there was another language that I could, would prefer to be in, it would be Indian. Because yeah. they're, they're just, I don't know, they kind of make me just smile. I, don't know. I, I look it. at some of like the Bollywood action films and stuff like that. And it is kind of like, they have like modern VFX and stuff like that. Yeah. But like, you can tell that like the, the way that this action works, it's very like 90s, yeah. early 2000s, like, it's like Matrix. A soap opera like things. Matrix almost, even though yeah. the Matrix is a fucking banger and holds yeah. up. Yeah, Matrix it fire. still holds Matrix up. Matrix is fire. But the, they, they have like that type of thing. And it's just like not as well acted. It's yeah. just, it just has a look to it. It's a little soap opera. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Little you bit. know what? I like old nostalgic shit like that though. Like the shit right. that look like mm-hmm. a soap. Like, like I'm I'm big on DC shows. DC, DC, DC yeah. yeah. So the like the the original Smallville, like the mm-hmm. I, I will, I, bro. I right. watch that shit now yeah. because it's so nostalgic. Like it, it, they don't make shows like that. Like that's that like. 
they they broke those shows down to look like soap operas. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. All and the drama that was, and that was CW too. Wasn't that's it? what I'm saying. CW, CW yeah. cold with they shows. CW they they, they pump them out. They pump too. them out, bro. I remember I had I had this ex way back in the day that used to love Vampire Diaries, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'll check it out with you." Fire. And dude, it was like fucking five fire. seasons, is... twenty four episodes yeah. a piece. I'm like, they're this is syndicated show, so bro. Deep, yeah. Uh, yeah. Supernatural. Uh, yeah, Supernatural. CW supernatural. fire. They, yeah. They, they, CW they good, fire. They got some good stuff. The Vampire Diaries is what was whatever. Um, I'm trying to think. There was a CW show that I used to watch all the time. I fucked with Legacies. Wasn't, wasn't like Buffy on there? Might have been. I, I yeah, know, I think so. What, yeah, but I, I can't remember if it was that. I think so. Was like w- it might have been Fox. Like WB64. C- <laughs> C- CW was one of those, like, I remember as a kid, you had like the... the, the I don't know what to call them, like the big conglomerate channels, like Fox, CNN, or, or Fox, NBC, CBS, uh, MB, ABC, NBC, and CW was like uh-huh. one of them back then. It got yeah. a little bit smaller over there, but mm. yeah, it would, always started as that. So it's kind of where you get those long running fucking episodes and stuff. Yeah, well, the Flash was the Flash was what t- ten seasons, nine seasons, something like that. The Flash, yeah, was it really? the, yeah, the Arrow was oh, like dude, they, the Arrow was they, ten uh, seasons. I, I watched the Arrow. They that crank out fun. content. Yeah. CW, bro. It's and they, it's so watchable, and you can relate to it to an extent. Like even, bro, like man, you, you know just want to be a superhero. Uh, man, <laughs> I, I, doesn't, man. I, I, I man. doesn't want to be a superhero. Just wake up one day on some mutant shit. And just man, like, man. Yeah. I remember because. I, I like you saying that too. I asked you before we had it, like when we were texting a couple weeks ago, I had uh-huh. him sick and that's why I didn't do it. But I asked him, I was like, do you still watch anime? Because I remember we used to fucking talk oh, yeah. about anime and stuff all the yeah. time back, in, back I, in school. I think the only thing that grew me out of it was just not staying in tune with it. Yeah, just like, not and not having the time. Now when like I turn that. it, now when I turn it on, I can't, I can't get into it. Like, yeah. So if you stop watching it, don't stop watching it. If you, I mean, that's your thing. Because you like, like I said, like I, I just can't get into it no more like and i got i got shit tatted on me like yeah i got a sasuke tattoo dude. yeah like, hell yeah he, he does have a naruto tattoo i remember like, i was I think I'm naruto for a little bit like i was so i was in tune with it because it was it was so entertaining like oh yeah dude i will i will definitely agree though it's one of those things where like if you don't necessarily have the time to put into watching it You'll you'll fall out of interest with it. Cause that's pre- that's pretty much what happened with me too. I mean, I lo- I loved anime. And I actually used to read a lot too, like the manga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had manga. I had some manga too yeah. going up there. Yeah, I had some of that shit when I was when I was younger, and I mean, I had all, all sorts of cool like action figures. Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, like Gundam Wing and shit, bro. Gundam Wing was fire. Those I still watch all that shit. Fucking yeah. that that's my that's my thing. That's kind of my go to. It's my comfort show. Uh, or my comfort like genre or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I just love the shit. I, but, although I've been watching it since I was a kid, like it became one of those things where like anime's become so popularized now. Like fucking yeah. Everyone's and back then you was a nerd for the shit. Now uh, it's yeah. popular. When yeah. we were going to school was when it started coming coming the, up. Yeah, I, was yeah. Like, I remember watching One Piece and Naruto from the very beginning. Like yeah. I got into that Facts. Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Dragon Z, Z had already been fire. like airing for a while. Facts. Fire. That's yeah. that's your starter, like yeah, absolutely. That starts you. Pokemon, that, that was. I'm sure po- y'all fucked with Pokemon, bro. Fire. That was probably all uh, all of that, bro. That Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z were my first introductions to it. Oh, I'm not oh. as much of a Pokemon guy anymore. Dog. I got some friends that are deep in it. Dog. bro. The thing about Pokemon is like it's one of those things that like just gotta gotta give respect for like how popular it actually is. It's for, it's in, in uh, terms of like a media entity, like it, I, the games. It is the, the cartoon, biggest. The card game. Like all encompassing like media, they fucking kill. It's the biggest in the yeah, entire like, world. I think it's that or Mario. I, I, Mar- Mario's I number think it's one, and I believe Pokemon is right behind it. Mm-hmm. And like, it's just crazy when you think of like how somebody makes up a, a universe, multiple universes of things of just and, straight animal abuse and fucking and, well, debauchery. And not even just that though, just how how good they are at everything they do. Like I said, the games. I bro playing Pokemon games on Game Boy and shit when yeah. you're when you're a kid. Shout out to the nerd kids, man. Back, yeah, dude, talk about nostalgia Gosh. back. I Shout out to the nerdy the, kids. The unlighted fucking yeah. uh, Game Boys back in the day, yeah, and you're dude. playing at night in the back of your mom and dad's car. Yeah, and had to bro. play under the street lights yeah, as they went bro. by. Absolutely, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, man, I had, that, I, had all of, I had all of I had all of all of man Game Boys. 
Mm-hmm. I had the original Game Boy. Yep. Yeah. I had that, that motherfucker the was black like and this white big. One. That motherfucker was this big, bro. Yeah. yeah. I had that shit. Yeah, I had get, the black and white you original. Get to, you get to talking to some people. It's kind of crazy how like people my age or whatever, they'll be talking no, about like their first system was like a PS2 or something like that. It's like, man, I remember N64 and Game Boys same, back in the day. Same. Like, like, I, but I grew up gaming, huge nerd. Fucking. How, how old are you? I'm 28. 28? Okay. Yeah, I'm 28. Just a couple years younger. Because you're like a year younger than me, right? Yeah, I turned 31 in a month. Okay. No. Actually, a month to this day. I, thir- I turned 32 in a month. You a Sagittarius, ain't you? So that's why we yeah. get it. Damn, we all excited to say The first. Are we all no shit? Yeah, I'm That's I'm crazy. Six. That's why this Dude, is working. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't like, know what it is. I fuck with is a Sagittarius. It's that's the weirdest cool. thing. Like, yeah, that's I, don't, crazy. I don't get into the astrology or like the fucking stars making us alike or anything like that. But I will say, December babies are something else, and there's it's a crazy. fucking ton of them. I don't oh, know yeah. if people are just getting busy back in March or something like that. <laughs> no, St. Yeah. Patrick's Day is lit that's, around here. So that's dude. what it is. Is it's your uh, the astrology is working on you without even without nah. even. <laughs> nah, dude, it, it, you're just drawn it, it, to other Sagittarius people, and you have a lot of them in your I, life. And you I don't think, even realize. I think it. that it's just because it's being crazy. like December babies, because like. December babies are a little bit different because we have like the Christmas type of time. Like yeah. my parents yeah. always used to tell me, like you ain't getting shit until Christmas. Yep. So if my yep. birthday's on the fifteenth, and like you're waiting to get all your gifts. And I, I don't know. I feel like it's just like being that time with Christmas and fucking the weather shifting and stuff like that. I feel like just it has somehow like genetically engineered December babies to be kind of similar. But like yeah. my best friend since first grade, fucking Harmeyer, who started this podcast with me, one of my best friends, fucking he. uh he he's born a week before me, and we could not be any more different. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Those Sagittarius people that I have in my life, which is a lot, were for the most part were pretty similar. And it's kind of like you start talking to them, and like somebody brings up a birthday, and you're like, "Oh no, shit, my birthday's coming!" Yeah. Like, oh shit, I didn't know we were born two days apart. How yeah. about that? Yeah, no, nah, it's crazy. Uh, my 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 two good friends from two of my best friends from high school, Harmeyer and Joey Schroth, they were born on the same day. Uh, oh, yeah. Eight days before I was. No shit. So yeah, December. I've known a bunch of December babies. I, the, December gets lit for me. Like I'll go down oh, yeah. and probably visit my Florida, uh, my parents in Florida during December. Damn, I'll like have like a birthday nice. weekend, which I think I'm going to do Tate B, and because uh, Goose's Goose's girl's a December baby too, yep. and mm-hmm. she loves him. And then like yep. I got family we'll in Nashville that I'll be I'll be going down there for a weekend because there's a bunch of December babies down there too. Oh yeah. So that's crazy. Yeah. All the friend groups and somehow all my best friends from were born in December. Fucking. fucking See, crazy. I think I'm doing. I think I'm the the only only one out of my like inner inner circle like that's a December baby. Yeah, really. I think I'm the only one. Oh, really? I Damn. Think so that's crazy. My that's actually crazy because I know a lot of December. Yeah, I don't. Uh, that's I crazy. A lot, like it's a lot. Like I wasn't even supposed to be born in December. Yeah, I was born like two months early. Ooh, damn! That's pretty early. Yeah, yeah. I was born Were you early. A, uh, an incubator baby. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, yep. Hell yeah. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. <laughs> Sometimes you don't make it out of the old incubator. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting dark. It's getting dark. Hey, it gets dark on this podcast every once in a while. But hey. You might hear a Snickers joke. Yeah. <laughs> we're not bringing that one back. Draw the line. Yes, man. We're talking candy bars. All we're right. Talking now, just... me, and, me and Andre were not talking candy bars. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, fucking. Well, let's let's circle back around and talk to some shit. You want to talk about uh this young thug case at all? Like I said, I didn't do mm. too, too much. I know a little bit. I don't know if you want to get into it. If not, we can yeah, move somewhere else. Yeah, I, I kind of do because Young Thug, my biggest influence right now. Oh yeah. Young, oh really? Young Thug and Chris Brown. I'm their baby. Like if you would have put me in a category. Well, my music, it will be to be... In Chris that. Brown, definitely. I remember even back in the day listening to your music. I was like, yeah, he's got Chris Brown vibe to him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And recently, I've been listening listening to more Young Thug, but he can do so much with his voice. Like, mm-hmm. his voice is an instrument. Like, he can hit... Octave singers can't. Yeah. Like, he, he his voice is crazy. So <laughs> I really got in tune with listening to his music and, like... I kind of de- developed my new sound around that, but I was about ready to actually say because you you sounded more like Chris Brown and Young Thug definitely has a different more like of a hip hop rather than R and B. That's vibe what I'm saying. So, yeah. so I kind of said just, that he's switching his genres up a little bit with what he's about ready oh yeah, to do. So that's I kind of like intertwined the two sounds. Like what really did it for me and what shout out shout out to those artists by the way. What really did it for me was. Um, Listen, they they did an album a few years ago. I think it was like in 2019. Nah, it had to be a little later than that. It was probably like 2020. The two of them did one together. Chris Brown and Young Thug dropped the Slime and B album. 
Mm-hmm. With that that go crazy song on there, they it, I've it, heard a couple tracks from it. Yeah, yeah. So that that really set the bar. Like, I even got like like at a point in time when people say I, I had like a Dirk feel, like a little mm-hmm. Dirk feel. But I could do so much with my voice now, like, and, and I'm so in tune with music, I can pretty much do any type of music now. I can do Latin music. I can do. I can Any see type you doing of, some Latin. I have me. I you have do. Latin music. I have country music. I was about to say the one thing that I don't know if I could see you doing would be country music. I can do country so, music. Well, I, I have, yeah. think we're about ready to see. Yeah. It's going. I'm. I'm. I'm actually going to throw one on the EP. Are For you, sure. Yeah. I was about to say, uh, are you going to put it on the EP? It's already wrote, huh? Yeah. I, I was uh, going to ask that question. So, okay, yeah. okay. Nah, okay. nah so that, that'll that be interesting for sure. I want to, I can't wait for you to be real <laughs> low because you do have a, like a higher voice when you sing kind of yeah. Chris Brown, but it, lock them doors and turn them lights down yeah. low. What do you got, dude? <laughs> you got to get that low voice. People have people been excited to, to get new music from me because, you know what I mean? Like people think I'm, it would be a waste mm-hmm. if I don't do anything with myself. Yeah. Like and I work so hard at it. So Yeah. I think with me, like, I'm a I'm a real like I dropped everything for one person. Mm-hmm. I, I can't do that. I can't afford to do that no more. Mm-hmm. Like That's I I, 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 I was willing to give my whole career up for career up for one person. Mm-hmm. I can't do that no more. Yeah. I got a I got my son now. My yeah. son my son too. So I mean, I ain't getting no younger, so I gotta, I gotta really. Time to get back on the grind, so get that going. It, I gotta push it times ten, though. Yeah, for sure, man. It that, can't, it can't even be no slack with it no more. Yeah, that's smart too. I think a lot of people do have that realization at some point in life where they they try to get away from it for something else, and then they realize that it is what they love and they want to do. And at the end of the day, I think if you want to do anything and you want to do anything well, you need to do it for yourself and no one else. Oh because yeah. Because at the end of the day, that's all be, you really got. Yeah. It has to be, or else you you you'll slip and you you won't fulfill whatever you're trying to succeed at fulfill that self-need that you have yeah. inside of you yeah. yeah it has to be for yourself damn for sure. no diddy <laughs> <laughs> damn. But, uh, that's it that's exciting man uh you know basically being in a position where you're ready to drop an ep or, or, or con- uh, continue to finish more songs to drop an ep mm-hmm. that's like just like a multi like genre. an album, like a, yeah, like a multi-genre album. Having man, I can dr- I can I can drop a I can drop a, I can drop an EP right now. I could probably drop an album right now because I a, I just got I got the music. Yeah, got it all written down. Just need to actually record. No, it's recorded. Oh, it is recorded. I just ain't like okay. I got songs that's just sitting and I and then I uh, I preview little bits and pieces of snippets and shit and, mm-hmm. and I get my DMs to go crazy like <laughs> hell yeah man it's exciting, crazy. Like, it's it's exciting bro like. Yeah, I sure. send it out like I send it out, and it's, it, it'd be more girls than anything. But <laughs> you got that light skin R and B swag to you, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's what's so up. I mean, like, but yeah, um, I can't wait to start recording. That's like, I, that's like, as soon as I wake up in the morning, that's the first thing. Like, I just ain't. I had to order all my equipment because mm-hmm. you know I record myself because 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 uh, it wasn't even that. It just was taking fucking forever to get here. Mm. Oh, yeah. When you get it shipped, Sweetwater, yeah. baby. Sweetwater, yeah. Have you ever used Sweetwater? I use ZZZ sounds. Uh, oh, really? Because Sweetwater, they the price may not always be the best on it, but uh, they they they're stationed in uh, what is that Fort Wayne, Indiana? Uh huh. Yeah. It's it's in Indiana, dude. They'll send it to you the next day, yeah, and they give you they're, candy they're with it. Good, they yeah. they have people call you up and like they they're like, did you get your package okay? They like have representatives that they assign to you to call you. That's lit though. Yeah, they're, that's they're lit. Good. Yeah, that's lit though. They got a pretty good reputation. Yeah, for yeah. sure. But you got all your shit, and the shit it all begins tonight. So, uh, we should probably try and work on some sh- shit here one, every once in a while too. I know you say you like to record by yourself, but. I got all this equipment, fucking. Yeah, we could do that. I'm always down to do some stuff on the weekends. Yeah. I ain't got shit. All I gotta to do, do is so. bring my template. Yeah, that ain't nothing. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and just don't get my template out because it's special to me. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. That's my. Fair that's enough. My, nah, I wasn't stealing that shit. Nah, I like like every artist got their own presets and their own template. Mm-hmm. Like um. Talk about like almost an audio pack, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like, we when when I open up. Pro Tools or Logic or whatever I'm using, my 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 how the shit fit my voice is how I like it. Like mm-hmm. I don't like to record nothing raw like no more because it just don't hit my ear right. Yeah, yeah. I'm so used to recording with my template. Like 
I go to another nigga studio and it just it's not gonna hit the same. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, no, you got to have all that shit set up. I I had a couple templates set up for when I was like doing the podcast or whatever, mm -hmm. based on like whose voice you got or whatever, right, like right. impression and stuff like uh -huh. that. Uh, just to do that, so it's definitely a comfort comfortability thing. Once you have like your certain sound or whatever, and you can always tweak it afterwards and post, because you're gonna have your sound. You can only do so much with your actual voice, and then the rest oh, of yeah. it comes down to post production. Your, right, your right. own voice just raw is always <laughs> kind of weird. It takes some getting used to. It. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's seeing fun. yourself on camera and listening to your voice. Yeah, it's it, it, you you gonna always think you look funny, or yeah, you gonna, you're gonna always, always think, think you you gonna always yeah. gonna think it's weird because yeah. you're not used to seeing it yeah. if you were to meet yourself through another person's eyes through them you wouldn't know it was you yeah, yeah. you'd be like damn he's a fuck boy <laughs> <laughs> i would is, probably think that about myself who is this dick yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking a, asshole, fucking asshole. <laughs> fair enough but hey um uh, we're about 40 minutes in i don't want to get it rolling too long or anything like that uh, and do you guys have anything else that you want to talk about? Because I do have a little section that I usually do. We've already been talking about it a little bit, but uh, you guys got anything you kind of want to talk about before we move on to this last section? Mm -mm. No. Okay. So this last little section I got is just uh, it's called what we've been sipping on, and it's just a section that's like any media that you've been consuming. It could be an artist you've been listening to, a new album that came out, uh, type of like video games or anything media that you've been consuming lately. Like what you've been watching, and just give us like a little brief summary of what it is and how you're liking it and stuff like that. Uh, I'll start with Andre. What or do you want me not want you to put it on the spot so far? Because um, I don't even know if you'd be listening, watching like movies or TV and stuff like that. But that's a lot of what I talk about when I get on it, like either music or uh, like anime or something like that. Can it be anything? Anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can talk about like a news article that you read or something like that. Um. I've been stuck on, uh, I've been stuck on like smoking and then watching a movie and then dissecting a movie. Mm -hmm. Like I've been real stuck on scripts, like like writing, see, coming up with uh, movie ideas, um, dissecting scripts and like I just been real in tune with uh, cinematography. Let's just put it, just mm -hmm. put it all in one word. Any good movies you've seen recently or shows? Um, I'm watching the Penguin right now. Hell yeah, the Penguin. I've heard nothing but good. Bro, it's, the it's like y'all remember a few years ago they had that Gotham show. Yep, mm -hmm. Gotham. That was cart like that, that it's was the more same universe, isn't it's, it? No. Uh, oh, it's not. Nah. Uh oh. I, I nah the Gotham show it it was more uh comic book like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't they don't take place in like the? But same it was good. Like, I mean, it's Gotham, honestly. They're both take based yeah. in the Bat Batman universe, but I thought both those shows were, like, was it? in the same storyline. Because you know how they'll have multiple different Colin, Batman storylines? Right, because Colin Farrell plays the Penguin in the one right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's what... I can't remember if he was the Penguin for, like, a I thought he was episodes in Gotham. I thought he was, and that's mm -hmm. what I thought. I thought nah, was. nah, it was the short dude. He looked like uh, Mr. Bean or something. That's who he yeah, looked you're like. Right. It was somebody. It was, he was short. Oh, fuck. He was oh, real you're short. Talking about the penguins. He, yeah. I thought you were talking about a different character. Okay. Yeah, nah. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's separate. Yeah. It's separate. I know, yeah. I know who you're talking about. I can't I can't think of his name. I can see his face right now, but. I can't. I don't know his name, but yeah, like the penguin is more. The show. The, it, the, it's more like realistic. Is it? It's, is it more? It's, I it's, 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 like op a, it's almost like a. Like not opera, it's soap opera. Like it's I, almost I getting like back a, to that feel. Like I it's get getting like back a in type that. of like old school Godfather. Uh, that's what is type movie. Yeah, that's rather yeah. than like a superhero type thing. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. Yeah. I've yeah. heard really good things about it. It's something yeah. that I definitely want to check out. Yeah, yeah it's on my list. For yeah. sure. and then you said you said do you like use these? And then you said you try to write scripts or whatever. That's always been something I want to get into because like I've had I've been like writing an anime for like years now that's what i'm I saying have thoughts in my head i haven't written anything down yet but yeah like, that's how your, it's that's, been planned for years if you're an artist that's how your brain works. yeah so like i i thought about like i see some something random and i come up with an idea for it like like i was watching an interview with Charlotte LaBeouf, and i'm like damn he look like post malone Dude, damn Shia LaBeouf looks like post malone i said damn let me let me uh let me write a uh, script where they play brothers in a movie. Like he do okay. now, he do because he got that fucking beard. You know, Post Malone got that same beard. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. 
Post Malone just because Shia LaBeouf at least, at least looks like he a out non- he, fucking when I, turd on your toilet. When I, fucking. when I say when I say look alike, I mean like I don't mean like they look alike. I mean like they got the same look. Like they got the same look. Like like the same kind of swag or something yeah, like that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like okay. they got the same. I think I follow that a little bit right now. Cause like they look. You said they look like. Scrub, like, nah, I don't like not physically look alike, but yeah, they look the way they, yeah, uh, same swag. I was at. like, they don't got the same aura either because fucking the, they got the, the, the fucking Post Malone's like a super upbeat like they, guy. Like, like they beer. like they dress alike. They like mm-hmm. they got the same look. Yeah. They could both got beards and long hair. Same, like, same little. They both yeah. tatted up like a motherfucker. Shia LaBeouf tatted the fuck up now. Yeah. He got hand tattoos and everything. You can I can literally write a movie like a script. I was like, now they kind of got the same swag. I can write a I can write a, a a script to where they could be brothers in a movie. Depending like, on like the actual plot and stuff like that, that could definitely be interesting yeah, for sure. They got different personalities, yeah, so but you draw an influence from all that type of stuff and you write some scripts. I need to start doing that. I will always tell myself that I need to write more. My cousin Jack always gets me on it. He's like, dude, he's like, you need to start writing like I do. And I'm but like, but that's just that's just like an example. Like mm-hmm. that's just the, what like what, where my brain takes things. Like mm-hmm. it'd be the smallest, tedious shit, and you can just build from it. Like as a creative, like like it's just so crazy what you can do. Yeah. Like. Nah, I feel you. I like. I've said a couple times I watch anime or whatever. Sometimes uh-huh. I'll be watching and like I'll get into it, dude. I'll be in the shower like fucking doing karate moves and fucking doing like fight choreography in my head and Man, shit like that. Yeah. It's so nerdy, but fucking yeah, I don't give a shit. Really doing karate in the shower? Oh yeah, one time I'm gonna Spilly. eat shit and they're gonna find me fucking ass naked with a running shower, just dead. <laughs> That's crazy work. Oh uh, yeah, but let's uh let's move on. Uh, try and get through this. Um, what what you been sipping on, bro? Um. To kind of uh, piggyback off somebody he just named Post Malone, bro, his new country album's fire. Oh yeah, he been tapping into the country, bro. His his new country album, I'm telling you right now, pretty much the whole fucking album is fire. I mean, I've always liked Post Malone. He's always had like an alternative type of vibe to him, and oh. he always has had like a little bit of a country his, influence. His to his, it. his his versatility is crazy. Yeah, it's insane. He's he the can first do, he can musician do ever. To have a an album go number one in what is it? I think it's country rap, rock and rap probably. Rap, no, it's four or five now because it was rap. He did it with rap first, then he did rock, then he did alternative, and uh, no, I think country. he's got one pop and then country. It's either four or five. He's the first artist to have he fired four out number one album. But at that five, point, he's album. making pretty similar music and just calling each album a different genre. No, they're okay. d- they're d- he's the way nah, he uses his, his voice is way different in each one yeah, he's he, got talent uh, for sure yeah. he's just, his songwriting I, I can see where you coming from though where it, it starts to sound the same like yeah. I, I can yeah. see cause his voice he can't do he can't do a whole lot with his voice so at, cer- at a certain extent I get, I get what you're saying yeah. like he can he can I, do no, a, I think that he's talent he's yeah, got he fucking talented. vocals for yeah, sure nah, it's, facts. Just, it's just his songs all like I've heard like beer bongs and Bentley compared to like his White Alverson shit and some of his newer stuff it all has a similar vibe to it. Like, yeah, for sure. Like Same it, swag. Just yeah. because, just it, because it has a little bit of influences of country, rock, alternative, and pop doesn't mean that he hasn't been influenced doing them all the same. For so sure. he's just calling each album like this is a country album, even though it's the same shit. Well, that's and what, then it, he's he's post Malone, so of course he's going to be number one. Well, that's where it's a little bit different though, because he's a really good writer. So mm-hmm. like the content that he talks about within the confines of each different genre, mm-hmm. he pulls it off successfully. Uh-huh. Like it doesn't it doesn't feel like you know from somebody on the outside looking in, somebody that doesn't really listen to Post Malone would would be like, uh, whatever, that's a joke. He's got a country album. I bet it just like you said, like I bet it just yeah. sounds like. Post I'm just Malone playing devil's advocate a little bit but here. Really I love Post Malone him, though. Like yeah, he's yeah. he's from Texas. Mm-hmm. He's always been interested in country, and uh, I don't know. I'm just telling you. Give it a give it a try because I think it's a really good sure. fucking album. I've it's, always liked his stuff. There's a little bit of stuff about everything on it, and it's like yeah. it's it's pretty authentic. Yeah, you know, it's not like cheesy, you yeah. know, over overwritten country songs that you've heard a million times. Like they're 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 quirky. Like some of them, like mm-hmm. he's you got like, like double entendres you, and shit, and, and what he's and what he's right. He about. is talented. I do like him. It, I like you like Jelly Roll. Oh, yeah, I, like I love Jelly Roll, Jelly Roll dude. <laughs> fucking, I got friends in Nashville that fucking hate him. But yeah. fucking, dude, for real? fucking, he's got a song with Ronnie Radke that just came out that I've been bopping. Uh, oh my life, I fucked up and I can't do right. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying my best to get it together, dude. Have you heard that song? Yeah. Dude, it's such a banger, bro. I'll, I'll <laughs> 
I, I, I do like me some Jelly, jelly Roll, though. Jelly Roll been popping. That's yeah, kind of the same fire. vibe that I yeah. get from, like, Post Malone. He's, like, the, kind of the newer Post Malone. He's just a super talented guy that has, yeah. like, kind of been influenced in all genres. How, old, how old is Jelly Roll? Uh, I think he's probably a little bit older than us, like, probably yeah, early like, to mid-30s. Yeah, no, he's in, like, his early 40s, I think. He might be, but I thought wow, he, he was still blowing in his 30s. up. He blowing up like he in his twenties. Yeah, because yeah. you gotta remember. Well, he was in his, jail and doing yeah, shit. Yeah, because he he was like a codeine rapper and shit before he even got into okay, okay. all of this. Okay. So like he was semi popping. He was hanging out with like uh, you ever a little white. Oh, yeah. Tennis, Tennessee rapper. Yeah. Uh, Oxycon. <laughs> little white. Yeah. Uh, I heard yeah, I heard that name song. though. Oh, he's got some songs that you've definitely heard before. O- yeah. Oxycontin, my smoking song. Mm-hmm. He's got a couple of That's little White, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I know yeah. I know a little he, bit about Lil White. Like, he hung out with like him and a couple of other pretty influential rap. I think some of three six. Three six mafia probably. Yeah. It's, it, it's, they were all from like the He's same Nashville. Yeah, Mep- that's yeah. Memphis. Memphis, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's from ten- I, I, I Memphis got a big Memphis got a big sound right now too. Yeah, I fuck dude, I love Tennessee. They're all related. It's Tennessee. Memphis yeah. is one of my favorite places. <laughs> they to all go, Memphis is one of my favorite places to go. You go. Have you ever been to uh, Beale Street, Memphis? No, you know I ain't never. I've never been to Memphis. Bro, just, if you ever I've been to chance. Tennessee. I like. I've been to Nashville. Nashville. Nashville's fun. I've like been Nashville. to uh, Nashville, Nashville and Gallen- Gallenburg. If you like Nashville, Memphis is kind of like is like. A Memphis smaller is, version of it, mm. so with the, like a better food. The, like, the yeah, vibe yeah, that I get fun. with Memphis compared to Nashville, at least now, because keep in mind I do have family down there and they've lived there. I know a lot of people. I got like a whole friend group down there. Oh, yeah. They say that it has become so like Nashville, old Nashville. Like I see posts that they share all the time. It's like old Nashville is essentially getting gentrified out. Like it, it's such a, it's such like a new age or whatever. Broadway is not Nashville, Tennessee. Like yeah. and a lot of people like are like, oh, I want to go see go see Broadway, but it, that that's not it. Memphis is kind of like, from what I understand, like the what old Nashville is. There's a little bit of a different difference between them, but yeah, no, nah, Memphis is really cool. Memphis is popular. They've got some serious so, culture down so there. So where Beale Street is is basically back in like the I think it was the 50s and 60s. Mm. That was an area that like all of the um, touring artists like. Oh, fuck, what was it? It was like a really popular, like, touring circuit where they went through the South. The Grand Old Opry? Well, the Grand Old Opry was a part of it, but... Because uh, I know they're at Bonnaroo. Like, <laughs> like, like, we're talking about, like, the influx of artists, <clears throat> excuse me, like uh, Johnny Cash, El- mm-hmm. Elton, uh, no, or no, not Elton, but uh, Elvis Presley, mm-hmm. um... Like, all those younger guys, when they were all on tour together, they all toured, like, on buses and shit. And as they were touring, they would stop and record songs, or they would record just, you know, records, how much money, how much time they Mm -hmm. could pay for at the time, back then. And uh, Beale Street is one of the areas that was, like, uh, I think it's, like, Sunshine Records, maybe. Um, Elvis. They had a bunch of really popular... Recording studios that like Elvis mm-hmm. and all those big name people, Dolly Parton. Like Elvis yeah. was fire. Yeah, yeah. Mel- he he had a bl- he had a black swag for sure. Bro, Elvis well he, is, he the Eminem rap started man. all. He's a king. <laughs> take back music and use it selfishly or whatever the fuck he says in that song. But Elvis essentially took like black rock music and popularized it to white people. For sure, yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. Yeah. What yeah. It is. yeah. But uh, moving on from that, uh, I'm going to kind of get into, and I know you've been playing a little bit. I don't know if you've picked it up or whatever, but what I've been sipping on is I've been playing the fuck out of that new Call of Duty. Uh, I did not get it at first, (coughs) and then I found out it was on Game Pass, and I could pay $12 just to test it out, and I ended up loving the new Omni movement and stuff like that. So I've been, really, that's been what I've taken up most of my time, that and football. So, yeah, I've been uh, doing that. You play any video games at all? No, I ain't played video games in a... Since I was like eighteen, I really, I really, I've had my PC to game on, and I heard that's a new wave though, the PCs and shit. It, it, my it boy, is. My boy, my boy, uh, Deshaun, shout out Deshaun. Uh, he be he real big into gaming and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I try, I'm trying to get my Twitch stream back up or whatever because I'm actually playing it. But uh, what I was about ready to say is, I, I got got this PC and I bought it for like back when Fortnite was a thing, and I used to play Fortnite a lot. And I was like, I'm gonna switch over to PC. And I never really, like, was consistent enough to actually get good with it. But this has been the first game in, like, the last five years that I've actually liked enough to play, like, on a semi-regular basis. So, like, I've been playing it almost every day for the past two weeks. Yeah. And, like, mm. it's starting to come back to me, man. And I'm yeah. like, oh, God, these kids aren't fucking ready, dude. Yeah, I've been having fun with it, too. I've been, yeah. I've been playing it pretty hard. You've been playing only zombies, though, haven't you? Yeah, I've played multiplayer, too. When the fuck don't you hit me up? 
Because I don't want to play on Discord and listen to like 14 people all talk about bullshit while I'm trying to kill my <laughs> oh, it's not, No, I, it's usually fucking... The, if I'm in there, it's I only I'm a huge stickler for this. If I if there's like other people doing other shit in my Discord, I like I kick them out or I leave and start yeah. another one because that's what my boy Zach. Man, you I know, can't need him, dude. He he's like he, he keeps on trying to get me to play with him, and I'm like, you can't mute it. I, it don't I, work I like just, that. What's that? It don't work like that. You can't mute it. Well, it's cross plat now, so like PlayStation can play with PC, can play with Xbox yeah, and stuff like no, that. I, I, but the only way to chat with those people is either game chat, which fuck that, yeah. or download Discord. Oh, you know what Discord okay. is, right? Nah. Discord is just like a it's it's almost like a chatting app, it's like, like a, kind of like a Zoom, it's but like a it's forum. It's it's mm-hmm. like a forum. It's it's yeah. an app that you download. It kind of is like a mixture of Reddit and fucking like Zoom yeah. or something. Do y'all like that. do y'all Twitch when y'all play? What? Do y'all Twitch? When I do every once in a while. That's what Zach does. Um, that's another reason why I can't play with him. Because I'm like, I, whenever I die, I'd be fucking, I'd be cussing. Yeah. And he's like, well, you can't do it, man. I'm like, Twitch is monetized. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Zach Needham spend- has a fucking monetized Twitch stream? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it ju- he just got it monetized. Fuck. I didn't know that. Yeah, I might have to check that what out. What monetize mean? What that mean? Oh, when you, oh, when you, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know all my shit like that. Yeah, he's got a partnership now, so people can subscribe $5 a month or whatever. Yeah, my IG like that. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Monetized IG. My IG and my Facebook. Hell yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Hell yeah. Our our Instagram is all messed up. My thread's been popping lately, too. My thread, it's like, it's like uh, Twitter, but it's it's Instagram version. What's it called? What's it? Threads. Oh, 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 Threads. I, uh, threads is gone. bro. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. Nah, fucking. Threads. I downloaded that shit and was like, oh, look, we got a Twitter that's by Facebook. I was like, this could be good. And it's basically just Twitter from 2008. It's fucking. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not It's not very advanced. Everything yeah, on there nah, is it just ain't some advanced. fucking stupid. But it's, it's, it's so stupid. new. They got, they still got to figure it out. Dude, yeah. they, it's it's like girls. It's, I've, I've, it's influencers I've seen, I've seen and fucking OnlyFans models and stuff yeah. like that. Nothing recommended. No one posts on it. I mean, I don't know about you if you've gotten into it or whatever. Nah, but nah I don't really post. It's connected to my Facebook. So whatever I post on my Facebook, it goes straight to my threads. I have that turned off so it doesn't do that. But I just I don't have enough people to follow on threads. And I hear it's like this with a lot of people. So they get all recommended shit and stuff that they really don't want to see. Like their algorithm yeah. hasn't been able to pick up what you want to see. So it'd be regular people on my shit, like regular like, like people who follow me and shit, like regular people. Like you, you might have a little bit more of a following. I've stepped away from social media for the most part. I mean, I still, Same here. I still post a little bit, but when it comes down to it, like I when be, you lose I be a tro- job over some of the shit that you say on fucking, I be stuff, trolling. I be trolling bad on Facebook. I be yeah. trolling. Yeah. Well, you remember me back in the day. You don't remember me back in the no, day on Facebook, dude. No. I was a fucking trolling. Huh? I used to be, a, a I half, used to be unhinged bro. on Facebook. I just be so saying shit. Yeah. I just be saying shit was, just to figure out. Like, I be saying shit just to see what other people I still do. Say. So I, I don't post just to see publicly. what the other motherfucker gonna say. Like, <laughs> I don't post publicly, but now I go on like I follow a lot of like sports groups and stuff like that. Yeah. And, dude, I get in there and just talk so much fucking shit to people. Like it's bad. Like I am the problem. <laughs> it's bad. I am the problem. Like when I'm people talk about those people that hide behind a keyboard and like type, like I'm not hiding behind a keyboard because like square up, I'm fucking <laughs> bitch, bitch. What? But but like I do like fucking I talk so much shit. Like such genuine posts that I'll just be fucking with people on, man. Like fucking. I remember I just like I've been getting into RuneScape a little bit, like back Classic. in the day. And Classic. like I've I've been trying to get I play that a little bit, One but I, so I joined a group on Facebook that was for RuneScape and fucking uh, like there's I'll people there's people adding they're they're like on there they're trying to figure out like how to get a quest done or whatever and I just give them the most blatantly wrong answers so they get fucked up. <laughs> like, that guy, yeah, so I'm that guy. Here's where you, what you do: you go to this area called the PK. Yeah, you go to the wild. Uh, hop over to the wilderness, the hit accept. Trust me, yeah. you're gonna be fine. Just go right over there and hit the accept button yeah go just keep wilderness. walking until you see someone and click on them yeah that means they want to be shit. your friend for sure but i don't know we got anything else that we want to mention before we go because uh at this point we get about around an hour so i'm trying to wrap this one up yeah I'll wrap it up good. 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 any yeah. plugs that you guys want to do you got anything you want to plug nah. music coming up yeah this is my music coming out y'all go check out that sorry for sorry sorry not sorry that's what i'm gonna name it okay sorry yeah. not sorry not sorry 
And you're going to be dropping it on Apple Music, Spotify. All platforms. All platforms. Hell yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll get you back on here and we'll, we'll do oh, some yeah. work together. And uh, I'll definitely make sure that you're linked up and ready to go and uh, we can start doing some shit. Yes, sir. Uh, I know he had also talked to me about maybe having some other artists come on and stuff like that, which I'm always down for. So gotcha. we'll, we'll see what's going on. As long as people are active and want to do it, I'm down to record the podcast. But oh, yeah. gotcha. this has been the next episode of Your House, Our Rules. Peace.